Welcome to Coldfield Country Outdoors. Uh, well, here, here upcoming, you're gonna see me catching these three coyotes. Well, anyways, I'm gonna give a little luring tip. This is what I use. Uh, now, I lure differently hot weather, cold weather. Uh, cold weather, I like using a real loud, skunky lure. Uh, in hot weather, I use I use beaver caster and uh, ground up meat. Uh, but anyways, when I'm luring a hole, this is all I use when I lure a hole. This is beaver caster. Uh, this is, and I use this in hot weather when I'm coyote trapping. That's all the lure I put in that hole. I don't put nothing else. You got to remember these coats, you're not feeding the coats, you're not feeding the bobcats, you're not feeding the coons, and they can smell way better than you. So that's all the lure you really need. And this right here, this is a uh, meat-based lure. Uh, people consider it a bait, I guess. But when I'm even on my bait, that's all I use. Just, just enough to coat that stick. Nothing more. Because uh, when you're buying a commercial lure, like this happens to be a commercial lure, uh, that's a $20, that's a $20 uh, bottle of lure right there. And uh, you got to remember these coats, they, they smell a hundred times better than you. So a little bit goes a long way. Uh, and it saves you money and it saves you time and just using great excesses of lure, in my opinion, I'm sure everybody else has their own opinion, uh, is just unnecessary. Now, in the cold weather, I like using this. This is called Catman Do. And it's a real skunky lure. Uh, it was designed for cats, but this is a cold weather coyote killer. In the hot weather, in the warm weather, I don't like using this because coats tend to roll in it. And uh, But in the cold weather, they don't roll in it. I, I don't know why. But anyways, the whole point of this is, is there's no need to put gobs and gobs and gobs of lure. A little bit goes a long way. And I hope you enjoy the trap line coming up. Welcome to Cofield Country Outdoors. That's always a good sign. First trap you come to, it's got old coat dog in it. Pretty good looking coat dog. Anyways, uh, get this guy dispatched and uh, we're going about our way. It's caught real well too. Okay, go ahead. Well, that's coyote dog number three this morning. That's a pretty good looking dog there too. It's got, it's pretty. Anyways, uh, not too bad for a morning so far. We still got quite a few traps to run. So uh, they must've went to moving last night. So. Let's get this dude dispatched going about our way. Yeah, we're going to end it with a smiley, it looks like. I got one more trap to run. We're going to let this guy go, though. I haven't been catching many on this property. And they do have a use in... So, we'll let this guy go. He'll have a good rest of his life. So... Let's uh, go check our last trap and on about them. All right, well, we had a decent morning. We called us three Yoda dogs. Uh, not too bad, anyways. Uh, hope y'all enjoyed trapping with me and y'all have a good day.